goodness, basically I'm just happy that my camera still works at all. I don't know if it's going to be a little bit like weird right now. I had Jensen over here and he grabbed my tripod and it just hit the floor so hard. Thank goodness he didn't get hurt. This thing is heavy, but it just hit the ground. So hoping we're okay. It might be a little bit weird today, but anyways, I had this thing I really, really wanted to share with you. Um, I got a box from Mel Science or M-E-L Science. It's this really cool chemistry set. So this is a subscription service to chemistry and science experiments. I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. So this is uh, the February box, I guess, um, and you get all of this in it. This is actually the starter kit. So the first time you do it, you get this starter kit. It's about $50 a month and you get two really cool science projects. I was like, this is such a good idea. So if you're a science teacher, you could do this with your class. Um, if you just like to do this kind of stuff with your kids, this would be amazing. It's for like 12 years old and up um, and they need like adult supervision. I think I would need adult supervision with some of this stuff. I just started opening it and going through it. And so I just wanted to show you everything that comes in here because this is really cool. So the first thing that you get in this box anyway is this, let's see, how did I get this open last time? <laughs> Oh yeah, these are like these cardboard um, little like headset goggle things. Like I don't want to open them all the way right now. Oh hey, it actually has Velcro on it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, oh there are little instructions right here that like tell you how to do it, and I could look through like this. This is just so well designed and interesting. So this, I think I'll find out later like what this goes with. And then let me jump down to the starter kit because this has a lot in it. Okay, when you open the starter kit, um, you get all of this. This tool just fell out, I'm just gonna hold on to that. Um, this is a little directions thing. You've got the periodic table, um, a little tray for some of the experiments, and then you've got like goggles right here and a bunch of plastic cups, a beaker, a syringe, something in a little baggie, some cork, what are these? Yeah, some little rubber stopper thing. So this is kind of like, I assume you would use this with a lot of different experiments. So you just have this um, so that you could use it every month. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks really interesting. Hmm, I totally want to do these. So that's what you get to start it off. And then I got these two um, like experiment kits this month, which look small, but there's a lot in here. So this one, let's see. Okay, it says tin right here on the side. And then on the inside, it comes with so much. Hi, Jensen Bug! I cannot hold him on my lap while I'm trying to do this. But um, you can make this tin hedgehog. A zinc pellet turns into a hedgehog. And a tin dendrite. Metal trees grow before your very eyes. So it gives you some instructions right there. And then, oh dear. You've got all this stuff in here that I don't even like understand, but so many little pieces so that you can do this really cool experiment. And then you just download the app onto your phone and it gives you all of the instructions. And then, so all it really needs to tell you is to download the app and then how to open, like uh, pierce the, the membrane on the nozzle to open some of these bottles. So you can just do it all with your phone. So just this little kit has two really cool experiments. On their Facebook page, um, you can go to their Facebook page, I saw some video of some of the experiments. I think I saw the, the hedgehog thing, and it just looks so fun. I really, really wanna do these. So yeah, really tiny, but this is a whole set right there. And then you get another one. This one is the chemistry of monsters. I thought this one looked really cool too. Okay. So in here, you can make a sugar snake. I saw this thing on their Facebook page too and it looks really, really cool. It does look like a monster or poop, let's be honest. It kind of looks like poop. Oh, and there are more instructions on the back of these little cards, but it's, it's not a ton of like paper and confusing directions or anything. And then this one is burning sugar. It says sugar doesn't burn easily, simply add ash to set it alight. So again, these are gonna be like, you know, projects that you need an adult with but things that look really cool so then again you have like all these little vials and bottles things to stir with and again it tells you what to do before you start so I'm not a science teacher although after like seeing some of this stuff I kind of wish I was 
But at my school, we're starting a maker space. And so I was thinking that our school should get a subscription and then every month in the maker space, one of the science teachers could kind of lead this. I don't think I am quite qualified to lead this, but I want to go like do it and watch it and see how the kids do. These are just so neat. So I'm going to talk to my principal Monday, show her all this cool stuff and see if we can incorporate this into our maker space that we're working on now. We, we don't really have it all set up yet, but I think this would be an excellent thing. It tells you how long some of these take and they're like 15 minutes. So, you know, um, just with these two, you could do like four different days at lunch. Like this could be a whole month of experiments and do like one once a week. I don't know if they do like uh, school discount subscriptions or anything, I don't know, but this is still a pretty good deal just to get all this for 50 bucks because it gives you so many cool things that you can do. So I will have someone at my school do this. I'm gonna get some help for sure, but I will take footage of it and I will do a little update video and show you how the experiments go. But if you're interested, I will leave a link below, especially if you're a science teacher, I think this would be such a cool thing. Or if you have like a science club at your school, I think this would be even more useful for something like that. Or even a maker space. Um, if you just like do them with your kids, I think that would be so much fun too. If you homeschool, oh my gosh, this would be awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to test these out. I will give you an update soon. Have a great day. Bye.